Hello, Dolene. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, teacher. Hi, how are you? I'm good. Wow, nice. What's the weather today, Dolene? It's sunny. I see. Well, that's really great because here in my place right now, it's raining so hard. Okay, so what did you have for lunch? I ate fish and rice. And wow. um, and beets. Very good. Okay. So Dolin, what did you do in the morning? I I exercise. I'm sorry. I exercise at the morning. Oh, very good. You exercise. Nice. Okay, that's great because you had a very productive morning ready for by movers. exercising. Anyway, I want you to look at your book. Are you ready, Dolin? Yes. Great. So we are now in Unit 4. It's all about home. So this is very focused with reading and speaking. Okay, and let's start with a grammar first. So in here, we use there is and there are. Listen carefully. We use there is, okay, if the noun is only one. Just like there is an apple. Okay, but here we use there are if the nouns are two many. or more. Very good, like many, that just like there are apples. Nice, Dolin. Now, Dolin, what about in here? Okay, we have affirmative. That means a positive sentence. Okay, and here we have there is a book on the desk. Okay, there are books on the desk. Now, we also have uncountable noun. When we say uncountable, those are the things that we cannot count using our fingers. Okay, and we say there is plus uncountable noun. Like, there is some milk in the fridge. Okay, because milk is something that you cannot count using your fingers. So we just use some to say, okay. And here we have negative. When we say negative, Dolan, sentences that you says not. Okay, now here, there isn't a pen on the table. What about for aren't? Could you please read? There aren't. Any pants here. Great. Then in here, there. There isn't any shoes in the fridge. Very good, Dolin. So here, okay, we use any to say it in a negative sentence. Or sometimes in asking question. Okay. Now here we have there isn't plus uncountable. The uncountable is juice because we cannot count the juice unless if we put them in a bottle or a glass. Okay. So we can say there isn't any juice in the fridge. So do you have any question about here, Dolin? No. Okay. Now, let's move on from that. So, this one, okay, we have, oh, I think we started with this and we ended with any, like, right? Okay, so here, there isn't, is, or there aren't. So, let's practice. Look and say, where are, where are the apples? Hmm. There aren't apples on the around. Very good. There aren't. What about this? 
There is an apple tree nearby. Yes, there is an any apple tree nearby. Great. What about this one? There aren't a math lesson today. Okay. Now we say there isn't because of the word a. Ah. If there's an article a, ah, that means it's only one. There isn't a math lesson today. Okay. Now what about in here? The aren't any children here very good how about this one there isn't a girl making a snowman very good okay who's making a snowman it's a boy that's right nice dolan how about this one there aren't fairy tales to read. Very good. There aren't any fairy tales to read. Okay, so take note that we can use any in negative sentences. It could be singular or plural. Okay, isn't or aren't. We say any as long as it's negative. Okay, but you are also correct because you say there aren't. What about this one, Dolin? There is a boy playing at the beach. Wow, nice. Okay. Who's the boy playing with? The crab. That is right. Do you play? Have you ever played with a crab, Dolin? No. Great, because it's very risky and dangerous. The fla the, the crab might uh, clip us with its hands. Okay, now how about this one? There aren't any teachers in the classroom. Very good. Okay, who are just there in the classroom? Two boys and one girl. That is right. Wow, nice, Dolan. How about this one? There's a pirate on the island. Yes, very good, Dolan. You've got it correct. We have there is. But I want you to say island. 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 Great. Even though that the spelling is like this, the S is silent. That means we don't have to say Island. It is silent, so we say island. Okay, now who's the pirate in the island? Bird. That is right. Great. Okay, how about this one, Dolan? There aren't any girls at the bus stop. Wow, very good. Okay, who's at the bus stop? It's the boy. Yes. Okay, now look. There are many Pupil. Pupils in my school. Wow, great. Okay, how about this one? There is a girl behind the books. That is right. How many books can you see here? Six. Very good. Okay, which color of the book is your favorite? Purple, blue, wow, green. Oh, so you have three favorite colors in here. Nice, Dolan. Okay, now what about, wow. So you've finished it all. You have this one big star. Great job, Dolan. Now let's move on with our reading. 
Okay. So, all you have to do is to look at this one. Okay. I mean, look and read the sentences. Then you tell me which sentence is this, uh, which picture is the sentence describing. For example, there are two chairs. So, which picture is that? Is that picture A or picture B? So, obviously, it's picture A. Okay, now what about number two, Dolin? Look and read. There, there a blue blanket on the bed. Yes. So is that A or B? B. Wow, nice. Okay, now what about number three? There are there are there are two pictures to move above the bed. Yes, above the bed. A or B? B. Wow. Very good. What about number four, Dolin? There's a boat on the desk. Which picture is that? There's a bat on the desk. Yes, it's picture A. Very good, Dolin. What about number five? There aren't any books. Okay, which picture doesn't have any books? B. Wow, nice. Okay, how about number six? There's a plant with red flowers. Okay, which picture is it? A. Wow. How about number seven? There is an alarm. A. Wow, nice. Okay, eight. There are two CDS next to the laptop. It's wow. B. Well done. Okay, number nine. There isn't a TV. B. Great job. And lastly, 10, there's yes. a comic under the bed. Which a. picture is it? It's letter? A. A or B? I can't hear a. you. A. Yay. Perfect, Dolin. You've got 10. Out of 10 here. Wow, nice. So I'm going to give you hearts. One, two, three, four, five hearts. Great. Now let's talk about the picture, Dolin. What are the things that you can see in picture A? I can see TV, the... The comic, the, the two chairs, uh, one flowers, also book. That's right. Okay. The what pillow, about the blanket? Very good. Okay, let's talk about the picture B. All right. Now, what color is the blanket in picture B? Blue. Yes. How many chairs are there in picture B? There isn't a chair. Wow, nice. Okay, is there a table here? Yes, there are. A, uh, yes. 
Yes, there are. Great. Okay, now, look. How many pictures are in the picture B? Two. Very good. Which room is nicer, A or B? A. Why is that? Because? Because? Why is this nicer than picture B? Because there has many things. Also, have a TV, a book, and a window. Very good. Nice choice, Dolin. Wow. So you have this great job, Dolin. Now, let's look at this. Okay. So in here, I want you to look at the pictures. Okay. This is a picture of a house. Then you read the sentences. Then you tell me whether if the sentence is yes or no. Now, there is an example here. There are three pictures in the house. Are there three pictures here? No. That's no. Very good, Dolin. Now, your turn. Look, read, and say yes or no. There are two chairs in the kitchen. No. Very good. There is an oval oven in the kitchen. Yes. Wow. There is a pipe. In the oven. Yes. Very good. There is a cat in the living room. No. Great job. There is a sink in the bathroom. Yes. Wow. There is a bathtub. In the bathroom, yes. Absolutely. There are two beds in the house. No. You are correct. There is a shower, shower in the bathroom. No. Very good. There is... A rug in the living room. Yes. Fantastic. There is a light in the living room. Yes. There nice. are three pillows on the bed. No. Very good. There are two mir mirrors in the house. Yes. Brilliant. There are two people in the house. No. Great. There is a hairbrush under the table. No. Great job. There are four rooms in the house. Yes. That's there is right. A shower in the bathroom. No. Wow. Very good, Dolin, because you've got it all correct. That's another five stars. Nice, Dolin. Now, Dolin, I want you to look at your house. How many rooms are there in your house? Four. Oh, great. Which room are those? Um, bedroom. 
I have three bedroom. Three bedroom. Um. I have five bedroom. Um, how many bedrooms? Four bedroom. Oh, okay. Four bedrooms. Three, 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 three bedroom. Three bedrooms. <laughs> okay, three bedrooms. What else? One living room. Nice. Um, five bathroom. Bathrooms like this? Yes. Wow, okay. One kitchen. Nice. Three study rooms. Very good. Um, um, one, yeah, there's one gather. What is that? One garden? Yes. Great. Anything else, Dolin? Um, and, and one, two room for my, a uh, one room for my dad do computer and one room is for my dad also. So we call that one computer room. Then another room um, for? One uh, the one room for doing things. Okay, one extra room. Is Finish that it? Yes. Wow, that's a lot of rooms in your um house, Dolan. Your house must be very big, right? Yes. Great. How many floors are there in your house, Dolin? Four floors. Very good. Okay. So, Dolin, I want you to tell me, why are there five bathrooms in your house? One, one, uh, one bedroom is have one bathroom. So that's three bathrooms already. Very good. And where are the other two bathrooms? Is it in the kitchen and in the living room? Um, I, I, I have five bathrooms, three bedrooms, one bathroom, for my bedrooms and one bedroom for my 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 mom and my dad rooms bedrooms and one and one bedrooms for my sister my brother and my aunt okay very good and the last so how one, many uh huh and and the last one is in the living room very good. Wow. So you're the only one who has a bedroom because your sister and your aunt are living in the same room. Is that right? Um, sometimes my sister sleeps with me. Oh, very good, Dolin. How old is your sister, Dolin? Yes, Dolin. How old is your sister? 15. I'm sorry? 15. Oh, she's older than you. Okay, great. So, Dolin, 
Which room are you now? In my bedroom. Are very good. Thank you for sharing the rooms in your house, Dolin. Great. Now, in here, let's practice. Okay, now, look at this picture. Okay, I want you to look at it for 10 seconds. Because I'm going to ask you something about it. Let's test. How well you can remember the pictures in here. Okay. Okay, let me start counting now. One, two, three, four, Okay, now this time I'm going to cover this. Okay, now listen carefully. Let's talk about the first picture. Okay, now here are there two chairs in the first picture? Yes. Hello. Yes, there are. Very good. So I encourage you to answer in a complete sentence. Yes, there are. Yes, there is. No, there isn't. No, there aren't. Okay, now let's still in the picture A. Okay, what color is the blanket in picture A? Red. Wow, nice. Okay, now is there a TV? Yes, there, there are a TV. You can say, yes, there is TV. Yes, there is TV. Very good. So we just say there is because there's only one TV. Okay, now, is there a bookcase? No, no, no. Yes. Nice. Is there a laptop? No, there isn't. Great. Okay, now let's talk about the picture B. Okay. Are there desks in picture B? Yes, they are. Great. Are there chairs in picture B? No, there isn't. One more. Are there chairs on picture B? No, no there. There isn't. No, there aren't. And no, there aren't. Great. Are there pictures in picture B? Yes. There are. Nice. Okay. Is there a lamp in picture B? Yes. There are. Yes, there is. Yes, there is. Okay. Is there a mat in picture B? Can you say again, teacher? Is there a mat in picture B? Mat. No. There. There isn't. Very good. Last one. Are there CD players in picture B? No. No, there aren't. Okay, yes, there are. These are the CD players, Dolin. Okay, that's okay because you still got another five hearts. Thank you so much for joining our class, Dolin. You've got 15 hearts, one big star, and one great job. I hope you learned something. Practice.
saying there is, there are, there isn't, there aren't. Okay, keep up the good work and see you tomorrow. Bye, Dolin. You're so beautiful. Bye, teacher. Bye.